Time for another video. Not much has changed here in Thailand, so I've been spending quite a bit of time exploring the coast of Chamburi. Seafood accounts for a large portion of the local diet, and all along the coast you will find signs of the fishing industry. The boats that fish the Bay of Thailand are very colorful and unique in their own way. About 30 minutes south of Patia is the small fishing village called Bang Serai. This is the main pier that serves a large fleet of fishing boats. Many of the crews on these boats are migrant workers from neighboring countries. A little bit north of Bang Serai, I came upon these long tail fishing boats trying to negotiate an estuary at low tide. They were struggling a bit. There are quite a few different types of piers along the coast of Chonburi, including Bally High Pier where you catch ferries to the nearby islands. North of Patia, I find the Klua Soy 12. It winds its way through a neighborhood of shops and businesses and a few small hotels, at the end of which is the Patia Fishing Dock. It's located just north of the well-known Sanctuary of Truth. Most of these fishermen are independent one or two boat operations. With the tide out, most of the boats were sitting high and dry.
The tide was so low that even out here at the end of the pier, the boats were resting on the bottom. Google Maps showed another pier just to the north of this one. Now, I couldn't pronounce the name of the place, but Google Maps called it by a different name. They called it the Forbidden Floating Temple. Much of this place was either abandoned and decaying or never completed in the first place. It looked like nature was trying to reclaim some of it. I really wasn't sure what to make of the place, but it was interesting. I would later learn that this place is most commonly used for scattering the ashes of loved ones after cremation. After a few hours, I swung back by the Patia fishing dock for high tide and a nice sunset. 